all right hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce makes sense in this video we are going to talk about inserting and updating a record together right so inserting and updating a record together you take the first two words from update and you take the last four words from insert that makes it absurd and that's the command that we are going to learn today okay so handle insert and absurd together sorry insert and update together what does that mean that basically means that if you would like to if you would like to create new records plus modify some records in a single command in a single database manipulation language statement you can do that that's all it means okay so what could be a use case what do we want to do we want to create a new record and we also want to modify existing account records let's let's quickly query out some accounts account number name rating from account all right let's take a look at all of the accounts that we have we have these many accounts what we'll do is we'll take a look at only those accounts who have an account number okay so whichever accounts have an account number we want to update the rating as hot for all of them that's the first thing alongside that we also want to create two new accounts okay so these 10 or 9 or 10 accounts have to be modified and then two accounts also have to be created right so what would we do normally based on what we already know we know the insert command and we know the update command correct so what i would do i would say let's just copy it from here so to insert the two accounts this is what we would do correct account record one account record two add them to the list and then insert correct we would do this what is the other thing we would do we would update right so to update i would query all my accounts which accounts do i want to query i want to query the accounts where rating where account number is not null correct so for each account what i would do i would just mark the rating as hot correct so based on what we learned a while ago or maybe uh, videos ago this is what we would do correct these are two transactions I mean not two transactions but two methods if I save it this should save a fine first of all and then it will insert some records and then it will update some records right there is some issue here what's the issue list of account from name where account number not equal to null what's the error duplicate variable account list sorry duplicate variable account list ah, okay so this is already defined here right that's why it's giving a duplicate list let's get rid of the definition again let's say save now okay and this should be added here dot add acc correct so what will it do it will do two dml statements one by one but is there a better way is this something i can do to combine this together what can i do i can take insert plus update or i can call it absurd right so i've taken the up from the update word and i've taken this cert from the insert and that makes it absurd what does it mean it means that this particular dml statement is capable of creating as well as updating records in the system so if it finds the record in the system it will update it if it does not find the record in the system it will create it all right so if i were to say accounts to update right what would we do we would remove this insert statement first of all okay these are the two accounts i want to create so i'll say accounts to update i'll take this definition on the top first of all and i'll call it accounts to upset okay now because we are doing an upset and then i'll say accounts to upset dot add account record and i'll say accounts to absurd dot add account record to i can get rid of this particular account list save so far so good 
whatever we already know we have done that that's why you're seeing this in a bit of a fast forward fashion all right nothing new list created account records created added the account records in the list till here all good right now what is the next thing i want to do i am querying my existing records correct so this will be list of account account list right and for each account list i am saying account dot rating should be hot and i am just saying add that to the accounts to update list the same same list it should not be here it should be accounts to upset list save so now what have i told the system i have told the system to create two new records and modify seven or eight different records okay so all of that has come into accounts to upset list and what i can do simply is use the upset command and give it this list now before giving this list if i were to debug this particular accounts to upset list what would we see let's quickly find out so i'll just go ahead and say comment it out and i'll say system dot debug accounts to upset right i want to show you one interesting thing here just wait for this to save let's get rid of the extra space that we have added and i'll just say save again save so this should save a fine first of all and what i'll do is i'll just try to execute this particular method handle insert and upset together no parameter so i'll get rid of this parameter and i'll say open log and i'll say execute all right so if i take a look at the debug only statements what you will notice here is you have a lot of account records in this particular list right the ones that we wanted the system to insert and the ones that we wanted the system to update now to update a record the record id or the unique identifier is mandatory correct so that is how the system knows this is the account that i need to update correct however in an insert scenario you will never have a record id because you are inserting a new record once you insert it only then a record id will be created for that record right so you will notice that same behavior in this list see the first two accounts or rather the first account and the second account here they don't have any other attribute only the name attribute is there why because they have not been created yet however you see all the other records that we queried have the id parameter which is the unique identifier and which will tell the system that it has to insert the first two records and update the remaining records what is the key identifier to update the id field because it works as an external id it works as that unique key to find out oh okay this is already existing i cannot create it again you cannot have two account records with the same record id correct so it will automatically update that record and the records that don't have the id field to it they will be inserted in the system let's go ahead and try to save this first of all and this is our uh, entire list of records right now i have given the upset statement here and i have given the entire list right now you see that you have 24 records out of which these records have the account number and they have hot warm empty and kind of ratings as soon as we execute this what do you expect we expect that the total number of rows will be 26 because two records should be inserted and all of these records should be given the rating of hot here all right let's see if that works fine let's go ahead and say execute so it ran fine let's go ahead to the query and say refresh grid see your total count is 26 first company to insert second company to insert has come here and all these have been marked hot how amazing is that to be able to create and update records in a single dml statement and that dml statement ladies and gentlemen is the upset statement you will ask himanshu do you have the database method for this yes database dot upset is also available feel free to use that you can do database dot upset comma false what does that mean that means if there were eight records to be updated three records to be created one insertion and three updates failed remaining would still be processed yes they would be processed if your use case demands that use the database dot upset method with the false flag saved a fine makes sense if it did not if it was too fast for you specifically rewind this and take a look at the video one more time and i'm sure that will cover it you won't have to worry
okay as simple as you have the upsert command now normally what happens is when you are using this up upsert right this is based on what errors we have faced in the past when you are upserting right if you are trying to update a record and the id field is missing for any chance you will get an exception that the upsert requires an id id is required for an update call so that exception shows up if whenever you see that you know id is missing or id is not here for the update type you will you should understand oh okay i might be doing some database operation where i'm trying to update a record but the id field is missing that should be your go to idea go to hint all right so that was about inserting a record and updating an existing record together so now that i am proceeding with this plain uh, examples right just to explain you certain dml statements and database methods i would also encourage you to write one method for each one of them yourself so instead of account try to insert an opportunity right insert a case instead of insert a case here don't insert a task try to update a lead try to insert two contact records uh, together along with an updating update so try to create your own use case do it yourself for one method for each of these use cases and then you can even paste it on the comments right just paste the code on the comments and i'll take a look at it but the idea is that you should be able to write whatever i am writing with the same kind of confidence and very less errors and if you are getting errors you should be confident enough to solve it okay whenever we see a problem coming up here right whenever see we see a problem here we are always ready to solve it by understanding what could be the problem okay so i want that kind of confidence in you all right that's the idea so try to basically write one for each just replace with a new object that's it and even if it looks very easy try to write that method okay because every time you write something new you are bound to get errors and when you get errors that's when you learn the most that's 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 my thinking that's my understanding and that's what has happened with me for the last eight years of my salesforce uh, uh, journey yeah great good amount of philosophical talks towards the end of the video in the next video we'll take a look at how to delete records using the delete statement very simple we'll try to cover delete and undelete in a single video okay great I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>